Hey, well, good morning once again from the shop here at New Traditions Dulcimers and Woodcrafts. Um, this morning we are still working on dulcimer number 862 with the, um, the new assembly that I have here. Take the clamps off and see what's going on. It's been a busy morning here already. We've been doing a lot of uh, homestead chores. We're integrating our chickens this morning. So we've got uh, our Welsimer chicks who we just introduced to our um, Buff Orpington hens. Which was a bit stressful, at least for me it was. They didn't have any problem with it, of course. But that's what we've been doing this morning around here since, uh, since just before sunrise. Life on the farm, gotta love it. So anyways, we're getting there. 862 should be fully assembled by the end of the day. So here's the soundboard with the fingerboard attached for 862. Port Orford Cedar, Hard Rock Maple, and Wenge. And here's the body for 862 with the uh, pickup temporarily installed. I need to do some work at the, at the end, get all this ready to uh, for finish, and then I can install this permanently. And this will get attached to the uh, soundboard. Cane K pickup, this is what I'm using. I use these on all of my dulcimers, and I use the, the low hot twin pickup from KK on our ukuleles. So this is Myrtle. Back and sides and the headstock is Myrtle as well. This is a 25 inch VSL uh, teardrop dulcimer. That by the end of the day will be looking something similar to this. Alright, this is going to be a short one. We've got a busy day today. I'll be doing some wood turning, um, still keeping an eye on the chickens, of course. And we've also started dulcimer number 863. This is also going to be a 25 inch VSL teardrop. Here's the, uh, the back for that one. This is, again, master grade Myrtle. And the soundboard, which is master grade Port Orford Cedar. A lot of ribbon in this that the camera is just not going to pick up. And then of course the sides, which are also book matched uh, Myrtle. So this one is 863 teardrop, uh, 25 inch VSL, which I really, really, I enjoy building them and I enjoy playing them and my customers uh, seem to really like it. So it all works out. All right, so I will be back when we get this assembled and I might be able to show you some of the wood turnings as well with our 5-inch bowl and the blue resin ring around it. If you're interested in, in our homestead videos, check us out um, and check out the flock introduction video, which is what we did this morning. Also, if, if you like this type of content, uh, we'd sure appreciate it if you would subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, hit that little bell for notifications, and, and Gosh, we, it would really mean a lot to us if you would uh, become a subscriber of our YouTube channel. It would help us out financially, not, not from your purse, but from YouTube's purse. Uh, it would help us out, just encourage us to know that, that folks are enjoying this, this homestead um, video content where our crop, our main crop, is on the homestead is instruments, and we ship instruments all over the world. So. That's not an issue if you are living outside of the United States. We ship all over the world. We make instruments, we make dulcimers, we make ukuleles. Here's an ukulele that I'm working on right now. This one is already spoken for. Um, this one I, I showed yesterday on the video and it was bought right away. Uh, I've got two more ukuleles that I'm working on. We've got more dulcimers coming. 
and then some woodcraft stuff. So our crop here, the New Traditions Homestead, um, the crop that we sell anyway, is wooden instruments and woodcrafts. Uh, we love our chickens, we love the eggs, our, our garden produces great vegetables all year long. Um, our goats will have pigs next year. Anyway, if you like this kind of content uh, and, and want to help out a, a small business in rural Indiana, subscribe to our channel. And if we can get a thousand subscriptions to our YouTube channel, we will actually be able to make a few cents off of doing this. Um, give us a thumbs up for encouragement. Uh, leave a comment. That also helps YouTube know where to put our videos. If people are thumbs upping, is that a word? Thumbs upping. That's what this is. Uh, giving us a thumbs up and leaving comments, that places us up higher in the YouTube um, rankings. So please help us out. Share these videos with your, your friends on your social networks. Uh, that's it. I'll be back to show you the, uh, the, the glue up and then the, the taking off of the clamps and the final on this dulcimer 862. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, we got the uh, dulcimer clamped up. <laughs> it's being glued right now. So here's the result of the day. The top is on, the pickup is installed, it's placed, and uh, I'll let this sit overnight and begin to uh, do the trim work and the finish work tomorrow. Get her strung up and make a video of that. So there it is, number 862, Teardrop, going to Mary down in Florida. Port Orford cedar top, uh, myrtle wood back and sides. And just as a reminder, this one sold almost immediately, part of the t-shirt, but it got really hot here today. So it's, it's weird for uh, October 23rd to be so warm here in Indiana. Here's number 863. Here's the quarter uh, from cedar top for it. And the myrtle wood back and sides for 863. I'll get that thickness tomorrow as well. So this one's gonna sit overnight. Let the glue dry. And uh, I'll do some more homestead stuff. There she is. It's looking good. A lot of response on the soundboard already as I tap it. I try to tune all my soundboards to tap tuning, which is um, a really fun thing to do. It looks weird, but it's fun to do. So that's it. Um, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with the completed dulcimer, and uh, maybe we can even hear it tomorrow. Lord bless you guys. Have a great, great weekend.